Anyone who has watched this channel for a period of time knows that I like Maruku shotguns. I've always thought they represent great build quality, good value for money, and they are, generally speaking, cool. This borders on very rare. This is a Maruku SL120. It's beautiful. This is a 1979 side lock, bright finish 28 inch by Maruku side lock. The very English and yet utterly, utterly Japanese side lock ejector. It's lot 1401, it's got an estimate of eight to 1200 pounds. Interestingly, one came up for sale last year and that was the first one in years. The only other ones I've seen are in Japanese gun shop websites. So what do you get? Uh, there is a silver zesk. It's probably a silver's actually, given the age and the finish. A silver's recoil pad. A beautiful piece of wood, finished with very English lines. It is quite short, it's 14 and a quarter with an inch pad, so it's quite a short gun, but you know, people were smaller in 1979, clearly. It's obviously hand checkered, being a Maruku, you have the large white precious metal oval with kind of a strange resin or a black filling. You have this little diamond in the bottom of the checkering, I think that's an extremely Japanese and extremely nice touch. A long trigger tang, a large screw heads, again, a real Maruku sort of thing. And they're silver against the black background. The action is bright silver finish with a very Japanese. The large roses and the scroll and the way that it's cut. But there is something very maruku -y about it and I really like that. It's interesting. The splinter forend, the little forend tip 28 inch barrels as I said. For a Maruku collector this is as good as it gets. It's the sort of thing you can pull out when everyone's going on about Mark 38s and go, but you've never seen one like this before. I've seen tons of box locks and, and I've seen a black side lock and I've seen a color hardened side lock but a bright side lock is, I mean they're, they're all pretty rare. Obviously back in the day you'd have to be bonkers to buy yourself a Maruku side lock versus something else. So they weren't particularly expensive back then. They weren't cheap, they were expensive. But by comparison to going and getting yourself an English gun made, they were fairly reasonably priced. I can't help but just be drawn to this and want it in my gun cabinet. As with everything Maruku, the guns are put together perfectly. You'll struggle to find anything wrong with it. It's a nice thing and it shouldn't be that exciting in the slightest, but there you go. That is a Maruku SL120, the gun you probably didn't know existed, probably didn't care about its existence either. And 100% will guarantee that there'll be loads of people in the comments going, I've got one. Again, I think this gun will go and run up above its estimate. An estimate of 1200 is conservative. Love to know your thoughts. Do you think it's worth the money? I, I mean, I do. I'm also the sort of guy that looks at Japanese gun shop websites with Google Translate. Take care, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.